destiny, your future is not predicated on the decision of someone else. You've wasted too much of your life trying to change other people's mind about you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. God is not going to bless you by their opinion. God is going to bless you by how you see yourself. When you trust God's opinion above all others, no matter what your struggle, you're coming out. I've been broke, I've been busted and disgusted, but I still believe that I'm coming out. I'm locked up in prison. They say I'll never get out, but I still believe. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm excited to have this opportunity to share the word of the Lord with you. We're going to share a message that is powerful and provocative. It is absolutely life-changing. The message is called Thinking Outside the Box. Are you ready? Luke 13, 10. I'll meet you there. The Bible said in the word of God, God has promised I will keep him at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. It is not God's will or purpose for you to be troubled in your mind frustrated in your mind, uncomfortable in your mind. In fact, the Bible said, be anxious for nothing. To be anxious is to have anxiety about something that hadn't even happened yet. Some of you are so worried by the threat of trouble. You're not in trouble, it's just that trouble has threatened you. And the threat of what might happen, what could happen, it's wearing you down. Half of the things that you thought were going to happen never did happen. But if you allow those thoughts to dwell in your mind, it will succeed at robbing you of your peace, robbing you of your joy, robbing you of your life just because you thought yourself into a nervous breakdown. You thought yourself into depression. You thought yourself into defeatism. The scriptures say it is with the mind that we serve the Lord. The mind is the battleground. The fight is in your mind. Touch somebody and say, the fight is in your mind. So I want to challenge you to waste no more effort wrestling with other people. Oh, I lost you. I lost you. You were doing real good. I lost you. Your destiny, your future is not predicated on the decision of someone else. You've wasted too much of your life trying to change other people's mind about you. It doesn't matter what they think about you. God is not going to bless you by their opinion. God is going to bless you by how you see yourself. Touch somebody and say, I believe I'm coming out. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know what I'm going to have to go through. I don't know what I'm going to lose along the way. But I still believe that I'm coming out. I've been broke. I've been busted and disgusted. But I still believe that I'm coming out. I'm locked up in prison. They say I'll never get out. But I still believe that I'm coming out. I'm coming out if I don't have nowhere to stay. I'm coming out if my husband married somebody else. I'm coming out. If I don't have no job, I'm coming out! Oh, oh! Tell three people, tell them I've been thinking. I've been thinking. I've been thinking I'm too young to give up this quick. I've been thinking I got too much life in me to die right now. I've been thinking I'm too strong to let you kill me. I've been thinking that my life is not over just because I got in trouble. I've been thinking. My body may be crippled, but I've been thinking. My money might be crippled, but I've been thinking. I'm black, but I've been thinking. I'm Hispanic, but I've been thinking. I'm Jewish, but I've been thinking. I'm Asian, but I... I've been thinking. When a God who thinks out of the box finds
finds a woman who's thinking out of the box. Some powerful things begin to happen. See, this, 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 this woman. I don't know what her name is. I, 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 I don't know who her father was. I, I don't know anything about her bank account. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about her background. I don't know anything about her education. But this crippled, afflicted, sick, wounded, hurting woman had been thinking. I know, I know she'd been thinking. Because she had to be thinking to be this sick and still come to church for 18 years. See, you all, some of you came to church because you felt like coming to church, but this woman didn't even feel like coming to church, but, but she kept coming because she kept thinking. And what you think does make a difference. Touch your neighbor and say, what you think does make a difference. Suppose, suppose this woman had thought not to come to church that day. Suppose she thought, I'm too tired to come tonight. Suppose she thought, I don't feel good and there's too many steps to get up. Suppose she would have thought that she would have missed her miracle. Let me pause and tell somebody right now, you're in the right place at the right time. You're watching the right station. Something is about to happen. Don't touch the dial. Don't move the dice, baby. A breakthrough is coming to your house right now. Oh, yes it is. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes it is, yes it is, baby girl. Yes it is, sister. Yes it is. Now, this, this, what I'm getting ready to say is what makes me unpopular with some people. But because I'm out of the box, I'm gonna go on with it. Most people today determine your faith by the results of your faith. And if you have what they call evidence of your faith is the abundance of the things you possess. And if you don't have any trouble with your children and if you never get sick and if you got plenty of money and if, if you got minks and you're wearing fur coats in August, then, 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 then they say you got faith. But, 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 but you know what, now, now that's good. But to me, it takes more faith to not have any of that and still be praising God anyway. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but it seems like to me. It looks like to me for 18 years, whatever drove this woman to keep on coming out to church, she had to have some faith. So, 18 years, now this is a long time. 18 years is a long time. She dealt with the problem. Whoever I'm preaching to tonight, there's some problems you've been dealing with for a long time. In fact, when you've been dealing with problems a long time, and you hear somebody complaining who's been dealing with something for a weekend, because we lose respect for you because you just whine about anything. If you don't get a parking space, you got a problem. If you don't get seated on the front row, you got a problem. If your beautician isn't there to do your hair on Wednesday, you got a problem. But some of us got some real problems we've been dealing with a long time. And we don't care who dresses the best, who looks the best. Okay, you got the cutie pie award tonight. Now let's go ahead and have some church. You got the best fingernails in the whole building. Now let's have some church. See, just 
been dealing with it a long time. Is there, let me check. Is there any woman in this room who's been dealing with a problem a long time? See, you don't have to be in prison to be doing time. Some of you have been doing time on a deadbeat job. And every morning you have to make yourself get up out of the bed and go to work. Pull a smile on your face because you know you're just serving time. You got a problem with your child and you're just serving time. It's, it's been 10 years since you saw the child you really wanted to see. There's some monster wearing his clothes and sleeping in his bed and you just doing time. Some of us are in a marriage that feels like we're just... <laughs> 18 years this woman had been doing time. But she kept the faith. I want to say to the women and to the men who are watching me, in the prisons. I don't care how much time you've been doing. Keep the faith. I don't care how bad it looks. Keep the faith. I don't care what the circumstance is. Keep the faith. God has not forgotten you. Keep the faith. Somebody give God glory right now. You know you didn't used to have no desire to be in church on no Thursday night. Come out here with no 60,000 women all the way up in the top balcony, can't even have C. You know you didn't always have that desire. Pay attention to your changing desires. It could just be God's way of leading you towards your destiny. Your life is all nice and neat and set up and comfortable. God is getting ready to call you out of your comfort zone. He's getting ready to ask you to do something that you didn't even think you could do. He called her and said, come up here. She said, but I'm crippled. Come on anyway. Somebody was in my parking space. There's nothing wrong with the parking space. There's something wrong with you. When you get where you're supposed to be, you can walk amongst witches and not be cursed. This job, no demon in hell can take you back into that sorrow. This joy is permanent. I command you now in the name of Jesus to be free in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit. Woman, you're going to be all right. I come against every fibrosis tumor, breast cancer, depression. Woman, thou art loose. He is the master of your need. If you don't need anything, you won't get anything. But if you need something tonight, God is going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing you won't have room enough to receive. I think the unique thing about me being on daytime television is that I'm not an actor. I'm not somebody who was paid to come in and, and read some scripts and lines. I've done this all my life. So it comes from a very authentic place. I did it when there were no cameras, I did it when there were no dollars, I did it when there were no crowds. It's who I am. I, I want to expand the turf to which people uh, see themselves and see what is possible with one human life. What the Word does, the Word comes to get in your spirit. And the only word that you can benefit from is the word that gets in your spirit. The Bible says, I want you to get this. The Bible says the engrafted word is able to save your soul. The engrafted word is the word that sticks to your spirit like grafted skin. When something is grafted, it becomes one with your tissues. When that word that is being preached in you becomes one with you and you cease to just quote it, but its thoughts become your thoughts. 
the engrafted word is able to save your mind, your memories, your emotions, your attitudes, your disposition, the word that sticks to you. In fact, you can determine how much word sticks to you by how much your mind begins to go through a metamorphosis. The engrafted word is able to say just the word alone. Listen, just the word alone will save your mind. The engrafted word of God will save your mind. The engrafted word of God will get in your memories. The engrafted word of God will go into your childhood. The engrafted word of God will heal things in you that you didn't even think could be healed. People have given up and said, well, there's no help for her. And the engrafted word of God, you, in fact, you could have given up on yourself. And the engrafted word of God will get down in your spirit and it will change you. Tell somebody, say, I've been thinking. The engrafted word of God will give you new desires. When the Bible says that God will give you the desires of your heart, he's not saying he's Santa Claus and he's going to give you everything you want. He's saying that he's going to give you the things to want. He's going to give you new desires that you never had before. You know you didn't used to have no desire to be in church on no Thursday night. Come out here with no 60,000 women all the way up in the top balcony, can't even half see. You know you didn't always have that desire, but God said, I will give you. Tell somebody, say, I got some new desires. I, I never had a desire to do this. I, I never had a desire to leap that high before. I never had a desire to try that before. I, I never thought I could be that before, but I got some new desires. Because I've been thinking. I've been thinking. And so let me hear it on. Jesus says, uh, he's standing up to preach. And he saw a woman. Oh, thank you for being able to see. You know, God can see things that nobody else can see. Everybody else thinks you're okay, but God can see what's really going on in your life. Let's practice that. Just tell somebody and say, he sees you. I, I get some healing out of just knowing he sees. Because sometimes things go so crazy, I wonder, does God see? Do you see the way they treat me? Do you see what's going on in my life? Lord, do you see how long I've been in this condition? But, 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 but God sees you. And then, and then the omniscient God, all-seeing, all-knowing, infinite, wise God, not only could he see her, but he called her. Now this is getting ready to rock your world. Because God is getting ready to call some of you from the background to the forefront. While you're chewing on that, let me tell you something else. He's gonna call you out of your comfort zone. Your life is all nice and neat and set up and comfortable. God is getting ready to call you out of your comfort zone. He's getting ready to ask you to do something that you didn't even think you could do. He called and said, come up here. She said, but I'm crippled. Come on anyway. Sometimes you got to come out any way you can. You got to come out. If you got to come out on a walk. My God, look at somebody and tell them I'm coming out of this any way I can. I used to want to come out with my hair done. I used to want to come out with my makeup on. I used to want to come out looking cute. But now, anyway, you bless me. It might not look good, 
it, but I won't get out of this. Now, no doubt she had been thinking, someday I'm gonna get out of this. One day I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna keep on coming to church, but one of these days, I'm gonna get out of this. Everybody else getting a blessing but you. But one of these days, I'm gonna get out of this. Everybody else getting married but you, but one of these days, I'm gonna get out of this. Everybody else coming out of debt but you, but one of these days, I'm gonna get out of this. Everybody else getting out of the prison but you, but one of these days, I'm, I'm gonna... Look at somebody say, I've been thinking. Someday I'm gonna get out of this. Here lies the problem. As long as you say someday, you postpone your deliverance. The transformation that has to happen in your thinking is that you go from someday to today. Look at somebody say today. Now, 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 can I show you how radical Jesus was? The woman hops up there to him. She couldn't lift herself up. She couldn't hardly move. Because sometimes you can go through so much that it paralyzes your resources. And when she got to Jesus, he didn't say, woman, you can be loose. Woman, you ought to be loose. Woman, when you get to heaven, you're going to be loose. He said to a woman who was grossly crippled and deformed, he said, woman, thou art Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Nothing in her situation confirmed his word. She didn't look loose. She didn't feel loose. She didn't seem loose. But he still said, woman, thou art loosed right now. He laid hands on her and immediately She straightened up herself. I know this is kind of wild and, 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 and maybe the person beside you can't handle it, but would you just slap them and say, straighten up. Straighten up, straighten up. You've been depressed too long. You've been feeling sorry for yourself too long. You've been letting people run over you too long. Straighten up, straighten up, girl. Straighten up. It's time for a revolution. Straighten up. You see, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know some of you think we're emotional. But the reason you think we overreact is because you haven't been through what we've been through. But when you've been through trouble for a long time and you finally get the grace to straighten up, it will make you give God the praise. Look at somebody tell them I feel like praising him right about now. I feel like praising him right where I am. Six women staying in one hotel room, but I feel like giving God the praise. Had to go to the grocery store and get me some spam and some jello and some wood pots, but I feel like giving God the praise. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get back home, but I feel.
Listen, I just want to thank my partners for joining hands with me to get the message of Woman That Aren't Loose to hurting women around the globe. What began as just a Sunday school class has become a conference attended by thousands of women from over 30 different countries. As you join me in the Global Partner System, you help me to preach the gospel that mends the broken lives and broken hearts of women all over the world. I want to thank our partners for helping us make a difference in the lives of hurting people. Your partnership has provided food, clothing, clean water, medicine distribution, and so much more at home and abroad. In fact, through MegaCare, we are establishing medical camps and health clinics to increase the rate of survival while giving hope and healing to a hurting community. If you are not a partner, I encourage you to become one today. The more effective you are, the more attacked you will be because you are losing somebody that the enemy wants to keep out. The word's been awesome. It's just been spiritually renewing. For your gift to the ministry of any size, you will receive Master of My Need on CD. Your necessity is not a necessity. It is, in fact, an opportunity for you to experience another dimension of God's glory. Just one of Bishop Jake's groundbreaking messages that became a movement from Woman Thou Art Loose. It doesn't matter what they think about you. God is not going to bless you by their opinion. God is going to bless you by how you see yourself. And when your gift is $70 or more, you will receive the best of Woman Now Art Loosed Volume 2 on five DVDs, as well as Master of My Need on CD. I am not who I was. I am not where I am. But I am where I'm going. However, when your gift is $140 or more, you will receive Master of My Need on CD, the best of Woman Now Art Loosed Volume 2 on five DVDs, the Woman Now Art Loosed Bible, and Woman Now Art Loosed Mug Set. Let these time-tested messages take you to a new level of freedom today. Get your mindset, get your books out, start studying, start reading, start getting ready, start making plans. God is about to give you a breakthrough. You're watching me in your living room. You're watching me in your house. You've been at your wits end. You thought you were going to die. This is no time to die. God has a miracle. God has a breakthrough. Here at the Potter's Touch, we want to hear about your breakthrough. Feel free to tell us on social media. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Potter's Touch.